second. So here it is, Foggy versus Cooper on Last Refuge, game number one. And uh, week number three in the Zodiac Dream League group stage. Both players need a win to follow Cash, uh, to be, or uh, to keep track of Cash, and still be able to fight for the win in group A. <coughs> Take a small look at the statistics here between the two players. They meet each other four times in the uh, tournaments in the recent weeks and month. And Cooper was able to take home three games out of these four. Uh, so pretty impressive. He has a 54% win rate against Night Elf. On the other hand, uh, Foggy has a 52% win rate versus Orc. So pretty equal for both sides here. Yeah, last refuge. Oops, a lot. Um, no. A nice map for dots, I'd say. Some people tend to play bears on it, but I don't really get it. Oops. Let's see if he is able to steal it. Yep, bam! There it is, and he even got the item. So nice blade master control here by Cooper. Wand of Illusion. Not the best item he was hoping for... Uh, for wards, of course, but still. Yes, uh, some, play uh, some players uh, like to go dots here. Um, if you eat up the forest, like Foggy does now and then, to widen these narrow spaces on the map. So, But this all points towards dots, of course. No Hunter's Hall. The base is sealed off, so yeah, this is gonna be this gonna be dots here. Tier 2 almost finished here. Uh, well, a little tag disadvantage for Cooper, aka Rover, here in the upper right, of course. His early game went a little better, I guess. He got the one claw. Oops. Uh, is it? He, he, uh, the, the one claw, the one uh, creep steal. But apart from that, attack. nothing really fancy happening. Boots now, first circlet for him. And he got wards. So I think he got both uh, spots there. This Forest Troll High Priest spots. Demon Hunter well equipped with claws and ring. But nothing fancy about that. Uh, we shouldn't be surprised if there's a Beastmaster second and then followed up by a Tinker. You all know the drill in Night Elf vs. Orc. The big question is Shadow Hunter or Torrent Chieftain. For me personally, I'd love to see Torrent Chieftain. Of course, the wave is always fun to cast. But if I would be an orc, I think I'd go the safe route and play SH as well. But it's always nice to be able to mix things up. Shadow Hunter, of course, way better versus uh, bears. Turn Chieftain only effective versus Dots, but since we're seeing Dots, everything's good. Beastmaster second, as I told you, and um, like in best of three number one, we'll see a go for the Burrows and the tier two buildings, but it's kind of delayed, because uh, Cooper is able to distract Foggy here. And it is a Shadow Hunter! It's a Shadow Hunter, ladies and gentlemen. No Torrent Chieftain, no wave here. And I think that the entrance to the base is blocked by the Grunts. And now we play Ring Around the Gold Mine. That should be the better end for the Demon Hunter. But so far it's looking pretty good. But yeah. Okay. Staff now. Um, okay. This went pretty well for Cooper. His Orc Boros still there, his uh, tier 2 bu uh, buildings not cancelled because they weren't even building uh, at that time. So yeah, his his tech is a little delayed, but that's okay I guess. That's definitely okay. In the meantime, Foggy, double engine of wind of course, tech to tier 3 of course. Uh, th this engine of wonders is a little late, so he definitely needs a staff and later the Orb of Venom to boost his uh, his Demon Hunter even more. A player's forces are under attack. Of course, leveling up the Shadow Hunter is number one priority right now, creeping into level three. So I think uh, he'll chase the heroes 
go for an in intensive hero focus on these maps on on this map but I don't know if that's the right choice to be honest I said I would do that too but the big damage is coming from the dots here scroll of the beast Ooh. selling it right away no creep check here it's a little too late for that no level 3 a demon hunter so far but he got himself a big potion of healing that is so nice and I guess the creep just cancelled the healing self crazy so foggy stole some creeps here from from Cooper's shop but the blade master the, the, the blade master did the same so of course foggy got the way better item And I don't think that Cooper is prepared for the first big push that Foggy is doing. Master upgrade coming. Now. Come on. Now. Or not. What's he waiting for? He's a little late. He's forgetting the master upgrade. Or he wanted to spend this gold on... Oops. On what? On the orb. A player Still strange. One invu potion on the blade, not even level three. So is the shadow hunter. At least he got the level one heal wave now. Finally, master upgrade. But yeah, that was just like twenty seconds or something. No biggie. So Cooper knows exactly what's up. He has only three. Oh, where is his army? He has only 43 supply. Where is his army? One walker is blocked in the base or what? He has no spirit link so far. Oh my god. Okay, one walker is able to get out. But what's this cow doing? Nothing. Nothing. Level 3 on the demon hunter. Boy, this army is so small. If Foggy walks right now, he can just crush his enemy. Everything's low. And he does. And he does. Oh, he's so close. There's no town portal on the SH. There's nothing. And Master Upgate is finished. Yep, Cyclone's coming. GG. Okay, not a single fight in this game. What a huge mistake by Cooper. What did he do in this base, man? He... C of course, he blocked his... SH? Uh, or his... His walkers? His tier 2 buildings were a little late. But that doesn't explain... That. I think I have to watch the replay again and focus on... Uh, on his base and what he's doing. Of course, one cow got trapped, but yeah, strange, strange. One zero for uh, Foggy. He undermines his uh, favorite status.